Welcome back to the Channel Boss KO Music Plug Media Child Hip Hop Reaction Channel, man. Thank you for tapping in with us, man. Uh, enjoy this reaction that we got coming right now. We ain't gonna hold too much of your time up. Hit that like and subscribe button, man, so it can help with the algorithm, so we can get it out there, and you know more people can get in tune with our videos. Hit that like and subscribe button right now. Enjoy the content. Rick Ross. <laughs> Rick Ross. That's all I'm gonna say for now. Thing is, like Frank Ocean coming out. Is hip hop ready for that? I mean, um. I feel your personal life is your personal life. Yeah. And I feel, you know, in my personal life, you know, um, you, you do you, you do whatever you do. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's your business. You know? Twice about just walking in and when she walked in, she saw uh, Christopher Williams performing fellatio on Puff. Now, from what she said to me, um, it was disturbing because, you know, they didn't stop. And I said I washed the door. If I washed the door and him and a man ran out naked and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. I saw that myself. Holy moly, hold the phone and stop the press. Can you believe your ears? Folks, did he just spill the beans and confess that Rick Ross is his main man? It seems like every day there's a new rumor about Sean Combs with the grapevine spitting out stories left and right about his supposed affairs with Will Smith, Kevin Hart, Usher, and now Rick Ross. But wait, there's more. 50 Cent is also jumping on the bandwagon, stirring the pot and adding fuel to the fire. It's like a never-ending soap opera and we can't get enough of it. Oh, what is he talking about? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> when people say that to me, I get a little comfortable. 50 Cent is at it again. This time, he's calling out his fellow rappers Diddy and Rick Ross and he's not mincing his words. In fact, he's even sharing some scandalous snaps on Instagram to back up his accusations. According to Fiddy, he's been feeling a bit uneasy around Diddy lately, especially when the guy starts acting a little too gay for his liking. And if his suspicions are true, it looks like this. Yo, we back. So, you know, tell me in the comments what you think about this reaction so far, man. Think the video nice, man. I think we post nice videos, nice content for you guys to enjoy, man. Drop some comments below. Let me know what you think about this content, man. You know, uh, appreciate you tapping in. You know what I'm saying? Hit the like and subscribe button for us right now. You might have some serious discomfort around Diddy in the future. Yeah. yeah, I love this drink. Where you put my bag? I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, where you put my bag? Daddy, yeah, I like when you, when oh, you right scrambling right and right scraping right for no, shit. No, 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 no. I, got I like that. Shit. But that's not all, folks. Our boy 50 is taking this drama to a whole new level by sharing some eyebrow raising photos on his social media page. In one pic, Diddy and Rick Ross appear to be locking lips on stage, while in another, Diddy is sporting a pink shirt and hugging another guy wearing pink. It's enough to make you say double yikes. Looks like 50 Cent is not afraid to stir the pot and serve up some piping hot tea for his fans. I ain't saying nothing, but something ain't right. Elmau wrote 50 Cent alongside the snaps, but it seems the rapper quickly realized he'd taken things too far. The 38-year-old pulled down the post from his social networking site shortly afterward. Oops, this isn't the first time the Indoc Club rapper has accused Diddy of being gay. Remember the Breakfast Club? That one time that Diddy asked 50 out for shopping. Me one time, a long time ago, oh, at Chris Lighty's wedding, he told me to take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the f what the, what'd you just say? <laughs> Let me move, man, before I do something. You gonna make me mess up the wedding. Oh, oh, that's it looks like 50 Cent's joke might not be so far-fetched after all. There's been some footage circulating of Rick Ross and Diddy talking about his fancy mansion, and many people are speculating that the two were about to lock lips before suddenly pulling away. Could it be that they didn't want anyone to know about their secret love affair? Check out the video for yourself and decide. I say that's Illuminati, the niggas got too much money. But guess what, it felt good when the nigga said, you so successful, we can't believe it. It's gotta now, some of you might be thinking that it's a bit strange for 50 to be dragging Rick into this mess with Diddy, but believe it or not, this feud has been brewing for a while. In fact, it all started with a contract dispute over rapper Mace. But that's not all, 50 has also accused Diddy of knowing about the notorious B.I.G.'s murder and has thrown shade at his music. And as for Rick Ross, their beef began when he claimed that 50 Cent looked at him the wrong way. Since then, the two have been at each other's throats, even coming to blows at the BET Hip Hop Awards in 2012. It's safe to say that these guys are not exactly BFFs. Recently, 50 called out Stout at a Knicks and Warriors game, and it seems like the feud has only escalated since then. While 50 Cent is responsible for some of the most iconic rap albums of all time, Stout claims that his influence on the hip-hop scene has faded away. 
He even went as far as saying that 50 hasn't had a hit track since I get money way back in 2007. Ouch. But 50 Cent is not one to take criticism lying down, and he's firing back at Stout on all cylinders. According to Fitty, Stout is just bitter because he's always gearing up for something that never happens. It's safe to say that these two are not exactly on the best of terms. And if that wasn't enough drama for you, 50 is also taking aim at Diddy once again. It seems like he's not far off in his assessment of the mogul, as Diddy has not only called Fabulous Daddy before, but he's also referred to Meek Mill as Daddy. Looks like Diddy has a thing for calling other rappers Daddy. Who knew? We all know that 50 Cent has been throwing shade at Diddy for his allegedly fruity behavior, but where did it all begin? Well, it turns out that the origins of this feud go way back. It all started with a song by independent rapper Blood Orange. You might know Blood Orange as the talented musician Devon Heights, who's worked with some big names in the industry like Solange Knowles and Mariah Carey. But back then, he made headlines thanks to Diddy's appearance on his track Hope. In the music video for the song, things get pretty steamy as two men are seen embracing while Diddy raps some revealing lyrics. He says, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid, to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved, divided by, but then I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it, maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. Although he's not openly admitting to being gay, his suggestive remarks are definitely raising eyebrows among fans who are trying to decipher their meaning. In 2019, Diddy's candid confession about his depression fueled speculation about his sexuality, and fans encouraged him to embrace his true self. Taking to Instagram, the music mo- Yo, we back. Another commercial break while we going through this reaction, man. Uh, you know, while we at it, man, make sure you go like the whole video on the reaction that we did. Make sure you, you know, follow up with that creator. Make sure you stay posted to our notifications. Also, hit that subscribe button, man. We appreciate you tapping in with us, man. Uh, you know, watch the video all the way through. Let us know if you like these videos. If we could bring more ideas, let us know some of the YouTubers you would like for us to cover. And we'll cover them on our platform. Appreciate you tapping into the platform. Like I say, hit the like and subscribe button. Man, more videos on the Google way. opened up about his struggles, and his followers responded with overwhelming support. Interestingly, before she became a household name as a talk show host, Wendy Williams was a fierce radio personality in New York City. During her days as the reigning queen of urban gossip, Wendy often dropped hints that Diddy's sexual preferences might extend beyond women. But, as the saying goes, all wounds heal with time and in 2017, the two icons reunited on Wendy's show. I know I pissed a lot of people off, including you. But this is a full circle moment, everybody. Get into adult conversation, Williams declared, before giving a heartfelt apology for any hurtful comments she had made about Diddy's personal life. While it's commendable that Wendy Williams apologized for her past remarks about Diddy, many people are curious about her motive. Did she have some knowledge about Diddy's sexuality that she wanted to expose? Or was she simply trying to provoke or insult him? Unfortunately, the hip-hop industry is still struggling with LGBTQ plus issues, and even prominent figures like J. Cole have used anti-gay slurs. This normalization of homophobia makes it difficult for anyone, including Diddy, to come out publicly. While Diddy often drops hints, he has yet to make a definitive statement about his sexuality. In addition to the Rick Ross and Diddy post, 50 Cent has also suggested that Diddy is gay in the past. He posted a message on Instagram, which he later deleted, that hinted at Diddy's sexuality. The message read, Sorry I can no longer help you guys, soon you will all be gay and happy, 50 wrote. You are all now left under leadership of Puffy Daddy. In June 2020, the rapper released a new single titled Gay to Move On with Bryson Tiller, which chronicles his breakup with his longtime girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. Cassie's current husband, Alex Fine, didn't appear too pleased with the song. In a now-deleted Instagram post, Fine wished his LGBTQ 